Where do I look? Do I look at you? Can I look at you? Yes. Just look at the camera. Look at okay, cool. Look at me. My name is Maya Delilah and I'm a musician. Started playing at a young age and didn't ever find anything that matched the like enjoyment that I had when I played. This is my favorite guitar. I'm gonna break her now. Um, she's a Maiden, which is an Australian brand. You can't really get them here um, easily. Put my tea down. Um, yeah, I get a lot of questions about her because she's she's a rare one and she's pretty. I think I think guitar is a weird one with my dyslexia. I I mean it definitely like works well I think because of it. But I did try, so I played piano longer than I played guitar and I could never pick it up because I would always be like forced to do scales and to learn it in a really structured way and read sheet music, which I obviously can't really do because I'm quite dyslexic. Yeah, I definitely have an unconventional way of learning. My favourite chord, that was really loud. My favourite chord is, <laughs> I don't, but my go-to is D major seven. Amazing. <laughs> the response I've got from the single's been amazing. Um, very luckily, got it onto some playlists on Spotify, which has really helped. And like getting response from strangers like across the world every day is pretty crazy and I can't really wrap my head around it. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. And I, I am very happy with the response. Yeah, well actually my target audience for me is young girls because I, I wanna like prove that girls can play guitar because of the stereotype and get young girls wanting to do the same. Um, and I have actually got a really nice response from loads of young girls recently. And um, one that sticks out is a, a girl messaged me on Christmas day and said, I got a guitar for Christmas because of you, which was super lovely. Um, yeah, I, I do get a lot of girls saying that they've started playing music now because they've watched my videos, which is so cool. I obviously really don't like the fact that it's a rarity and there's still so much sexism around it and I still see like even when I sound check men like some like men sound engineers are like do you know like how to use an amp do you know but at the same time it is quite cool that it's seen I see it as a challenge because I would really, I did, I mean, in a big dream world, I'd ideally like to be like an iconic gu woman guitarist to inspire others. But so it's a good thing that it's it's challenging me and motivating me to be better, you know, because I want to prove everyone wrong. Girls shouldn't play guitar and make faces like that. Um, that's a weird one. Of course I'm gonna make faces when I play guitar. I can't help it. It's <laughs> dumb. Um, girls look funny playing guitar. Girls look funny playing guitar, put it down and get yourself a boyfriend. Yeah, those are those are the big two that stand out. I'll like walk down the road with this guitar in a case and people, I don't know if this is sexist, but I kind of see it as it when they ask if it's like an acoustic guitar, because obviously you're not gonna be playing electric guitar if you're a girl, because that's weird. Like... <laughs> this is my favourite pedal. I don't have a huge collection, but this one does a lot of things. Um, it's called... I'm gonna say that that's pronounced as forks, but I'm probably wrong. Spring reverb. Oh, this isn't my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> my fa this isn't my favorite one. 
Wait. <laughs> She was in my, um, I need to stop gendering my <laughs> objects. It was in my guitar case and it's my only, my, that was my other reverb pedal. So I was like, it wasn't that. Um, ethereal, 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 <laughs> ethereal, same company, Warmpler. Um, great reverb. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really good. It like makes it, everything sound magical. A lot in the past year, I've just drawn, it hasn't even been for anything, but like, it hasn't me being like, this is merch because I'm not big enough for merch, but it's it's just like fun to do. And then I thought, well, there's a really good website called Awesome Merch, check it out. Um, and I was just like, well, it's quite cheap. I could just like get some printed and it would help. Like every little helps hand out gigs. So I've got stickers. Right. Is that the right way up? Yeah. And then I made plectrums, picks, even though I don't know how to use, like I, I mean, I know how to use it, I just don't. I actually, I'm really bad at using it, um, picks. But I made them because I wanted something guitar, guitar wise. And I thought it'd be a really cool thing to hand out at gigs just for free anyway. Um, musical, quite cool. And then, because I, I like to draw, <laughs> I made little envelopes to put them in for shows. The first time I remember writing about an object was nail, <laughs> nail polish. And I saw this blue um, sparkly nail polish and it reminded me of the ocean. This sounds super spiritual and lame. Um, and then I, I, I played these piano chords and was like, oh, this like matches the nail polish. And then I couldn't get it out of my head that that's what it was. And then every time I'd play it, that's what I'd think about. So I get attached in that kind of way. I've written a song, at the moment it's called Gato, which is cat in Spanish. Um, and it's about, so I don't know where he is, which is what the song is about. Um, it's about how he always like just runs away and we're always like, is he dead? And are we ever gonna see him again? Cause he just leaves for ages. Um, and then it turned into a love song, which is kind of weird because it's, I mean, it sounds like it's a love song to my cat and it's not, it's a love song, but it could be a love song to my cat. <laughs> you need to and then I'll reply. Koala la la, koala la la, koala. Australia, sad, this <laughs> god's taking a turn. Um. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs>